We are here tonight in Nescapec, Pennsylvania. All proceeds go to the National MS Society. ICWF Organized Chaos continues right now with the following contest. A 30-minute time limit scheduled for one fall. And it is for the ICWF North East Championship. Here we go, folks. Big game feel here. The ICWF Northeast Championship on the line. The former Northeast champion, Andy Hedder, getting a rematch, taking on the current champion, Mark Maverick. This is what you could call a good old-fashioned show stealer here. It should be good organized chaos. Man, oh, man, I hope these guys don't keep it organized. I hope these guys just lay it all on the line for the fans here, the great fans here in Nescapec, Pennsylvania. Is Mark Maverick talking about having more muscles and being hotter? Is it even legal to even say that stuff? You lose your man card, bro.
Yeah, it's because he's been he's been taking physical fitness tips from David Adams again. That's how he's getting that big. That's all I gotta say about that. I think I think the fans have spoken. Serious business, having a little fun. But I assure you, in a few short moments, it's gonna be all business. When the goal's on the line, the stars will shine. Mark Maverick wants round two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an impromptu pose down. <laughs> Not really. I don't know how much longer Andy Hedder's gonna like play these games. Oh come on, that's ridiculous. And now Mark Maverick, the ultimate opportunist here. Andy Hedder played into his little pose down game and he's making Andy pay for it now. There's a reason why Mark Maverick is the Northeast champion. Beautiful arm drag. Oh, he rolls him up here, one. Just a one count. I wouldn't expect this match to start out any other way. Fast and furious. Oh, and what a spike DDT from the champion. I mean, these two are forming quite the rivalry, and you know that they've been watching tapes of each other, so they know each other inside and out. So this, this should definitely be one heck of a matchup here. That spike DDT though, right into the mat could end disaster for the challenger real quick here. Mark Maverick pounding away on the chest now with that vicious forearm, of course. Maverick all over header in the corner now. It's like a little spider monkey over here. And that big boot right to the throat. Shades of big sexy in that boot in the corner there. Mark Maverick has no care for the rules in this match. He knows though when to break just in time. Right at the four count, he knows that he's out, got up to five, so he's not getting disqualified. So he's putting a hurt on the throat of the challenger legally, unfortunately. Oh, but here we go! The challenger with a vicious European uppercut. Back and forth. These two gentlemen, forearm for forearm, smash after smash, like two prize fighters in the middle of the ring on round 15. Bam! Close eye ducked, springboard, header catches him though. Oh, right into a power bomb. We have a new champion. Oh. Maverick regroups outside. He literally just saw flashes of the gold falling from his fingertips. Just, oh my God. Easy come, easy go in this business, pal. You know, the fans don't approve of this, but from a professional standpoint, this is an ingenious strategy by Mark Maverick. He was in trouble, he almost lost the match. He knows he's got up to a 10 count and he's regrouping out there. And now look at that, he slides under, under the ropes, restarts the count. Cletus Gambino has to start from scratch. This is that psychological aspect of the business that a lot of people just don't get. Can you get under the skin of your opponent? Lord knows he's getting under everybody's skin right now. Close eye ducked! Boom, boom, right to the gut, and a super kick! The challenger's down, the champion goes for the cover, doesn't hook the leg though! Yeah. How are you gonna super kick a guy the caliber of serious business, Andy Hedder, cover him and not hook the leg in a championship match? One would have to think that he would have gotten the three count and retained his title, but without hooking the leg, he gave Andy Hedder that opportunity to slide out the back door on a two and a half count, and this match continues. It's what it's all about for the ICWF. Northeast Championship is on the line. It's all those, it's the little things that they teach you from day one in training. Hook a damn leg. Mark Maverick, you don't have hair, buddy. He has hair because you just grabbed a whole bunch of it. 
Andy Hedder can't use that same strategy because you're Mr. Clean, buddy. Oh, Baldy himself. Maybe he should pull you by the earlobe. That would be adorable. The champion now just sizing up the challenger in the corner. Oh, wow. What a flying heel kick right from the right into the corner. The cocky, the arrogant, the brash Northeast champion in firm control of this match. Oh, he's taunting him with his own move, the acid arrow. Oh, but the, ch the challenger moves out of the way. He says, acid arrow right here. I got your acid arrow right here. There it is. Boom. And that's how it's done with the bulldog out of the corner. Vintage Andy Hedder. For the cover, he hooks the leg. But the champion still has a little bit of left in the gas tank now. Man, oh man, I thought that was the beginning of the end. You don't taunt a man with his own move. That just pisses him off and fires him up twice as much. He moves clear. Get me out of the corner. Oh, and what a drop kick into the corner. Acid arrow drop kick. Shoot him again. And a delayed double foot stop in the corner. Covers away with a champion. What a match here at Organized Chaos. All proceeds tonight benefit the National MS Society. We thank everybody for coming out. We thank you for watching at home. What a match up here. Our f first of three championship matches on the evening. Oh, what a snap suplex from the champion. A little bit too close to the ropes to cover him. The challenger realizes that, or the champion realizes that, pulls him into the middle. What's he gonna do? He's got that leg. Is he gonna set him up for a figure four leg lock? Exactly what he's doing. Man. And he's got him in a modified figure four leg lock. Somewhat of a cross between an Indian death lock and a figure four leg lock. But it's getting the job done right now because Andy Hunter is about ready to tap. But there's the, oh, is he countered? He's countered the pressure, but only for a millisecond. Andy Hedder fighting out of this modified figure four leg lock, and he gets out of it. This match continues. And, and that's anything but modified. That's a straight up sharpshooter right there, folks. We could have a new champion. But the leg strength of Mark Maverick powers out of it. The match continues. But how much did that just take out of both men? That could have been the last ditch effort from either gentleman. Bottom line is this match continues. And man, oh man, it's got a 30 minute time limit. So we're barely halfway into this match. Oh, and a Boston Crab. That high arching Boston crowd. Andy Hatter now powers out. What kind of damage did that do to his back? The fans here really behind the challenger now. Oh, and he, he, he covers them. Wait, he's got him in a submission move. That near shoulder was up, so it wasn't a pinfall, but that was one heck of a Submission hold, the champion barely able to grab the bottom rope though to break out. Man, if this is the first of three championship matches, I can't wait to see the rest of organized chaos here. The action back in the ring here, the champion now relentless on the challenger.
Slings him off the ropes. The challenger ducks the clothesline. Oh, could it be the holy driver? No, but a reverse from the champion. Champion goes to roll him up. Header holds on to the ropes. Great strategy. Goes for the cover. Goes for the clothesline, rather. That was a low blow. Cletus Gambino didn't see it, though. That was a dirty move from the champion. How despicable. From the top row, from the high rank district, what's the champion going to do? He's taking a lot of time. Oh, and it hits him with a beautiful elbow drop. Double axe handle elbow. Northeast Championship into play and just hit Eddie Header. Eddie Header's gonna win this match, but he's gonna keep the belt. Ah, that sucks. home still the northeast champion he's proud of himself andy hutter wins the match come on ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for your winner once again serious versus andy hutter he won the battle but didn't win the war because he didn't walk out with the northeast championship so it's kind of a tainted victory hopefully the officials here at icwf will watch the footage and give him another shot down the line. But bottom line is, Mark Maverick keeps the gold. Congratulations on the victory, though, all the same to Andy Hedder. I'm David Adams. This is Organized Chaos, live in Nescapec, Pennsylvania. We're raising money for the National MS Society. We're going to intermission. We'll be back in just a little bit.